good day! Welcome to Teleturoan. This is the fourth episode in Mathematics 10 for the second grading period. I am Hannah Pamela C. Bautista, a teacher from Honorato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School, and I will be your teacher presenter for today's session. Now we are going to talk about theorems on chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. Now today, our objective would be to understand the theorems involving chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles, and to use these theorems to solve simple problems. Now this is in line with our most essential learning competency, which is proves theorems related to chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. Now before we start our lesson, let's try to do a little recall. What is this word? This is a segment joining any two points on the circle. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's a chord. Let's look at our next word. What is this? It's an angle whose vertex is on the circle's center and whose sides intersect the circle at two points. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's the central angle. Now let's look at our third word. This is a portion of the circle determined by a central angle. Guess what it is? Yes, you're right, it's the arc. Now for our last word. This is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides contain quartz on a circle. Yep, you're right again. This is the inscribed angle. Okay, who's ready to learn some theorems? Let's start with theorem number one. In a circle or incongruent circles, Two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding angles are congruent. Now notice the special phrase, if and only if. This means our theorem is a biconditional statement. It means that the if-then statement and its converse are true. Now to have a visual of this example, I have here two circles, circle E and circle I, with some points and an inscribed angle, angle SET and angle BIG, respectively. Now, if you are given that angle SET is congruent to angle BIG, then, according to this theorem, arc ST and arc BG are also congruent. Now, conversely, if you are given arc ST is congruent to arc BG, then you can conclude, according to this theorem, that the two angles, angle SET and angle BIG, respectively, are congruent as well. Okay, now let's look at theorem number two. In a circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. Now notice we, all, we also have our special phrase if and only if, which means this is also a biconditional statement. Now to give you a solid example, we have here circles T and circle N. Notice that they have two chords, chord AB for circle T and chord OE for circle N. Now given that these two circles are congruent and that chord AB is congruent to chord OE, then you can say that the intercepted arcs arc AB and arc OE respectively are congruent as well. Now let's look at the converse. The converse of this is if you are given the arc AB and arc OE to be congruent, then their respective chords, chord AB and chord OE, are congruent as well. Got that? I sure hope you do. Now let's look at theorem number three. In a circle, a diameter bisects a chord and an arc with the same endpoints if and only if it is perpendicular to the chord. Now notice, this is also a biconditional statement, so I will be giving you two examples the if-then statement, and its converse. Now here, we are given circle A with several points, a diameter, and a chord. Now given BE in our circle A is a diameter, and it is perpendicular to given chord CD, according to this theorem, it will bisect chord CD, which means that you have chord or segment CF is going to be congruent to chord FD. Now, it doesn't just bisect the chord, it also bisects the arc that it intersects, which means that arc CE 
is also congruent to arc D. All right, so now let's look at theorem number four. If two inscribed angles of a circle or congruent circles intercept congruent arcs or the same arc, then the angles are congruent. I have here two examples that I would like to show you that discusses this theorem. So first I have circle T and I have four points given. I have point P, O, I, and N. Notice that I have two inscribed angles, angle IPN and angle NOI. Now, what do you notice about these two inscribed angles? They intercept the same arc, right? So they have arc IN. Now, according to theorem number four, if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then they, the measure of these angles are congruent. Here I have the second circle, circle M. We are given angles OPT and angle WNP. Now, given that angle OPT and angle E and W are inscribed angles, and that the arcs OT and arc EW are congruent, then we can say that the two inscribed angles are congruent as well. Now let's look at the fifth theorem. I hope you're still listening. This is our fifth theorem for today. If an inscribed angle of a circle intercepts a semicircle, then the angle is a right angle. Let's look at our example. I have here circle O, and as you can see, there is an inscribed angle NTE. It intercepts arc NSE, which as you can see, is a semicircle. This means that the measure of angle NTE is 90 degrees. All right, so let's exercise those brain cells of yours and let's do some exercises. Now I have here circle B and I am given that chord AT and chord MN are diameters and arc NT is congruent to arc AM. Now I would like you to name a pair of congruent chords. Think about it. Now who got this one right? Chord NT and chord AM are congruent. Why is that? It's because of our theorem number two. Let's look at the second item. We're still given the same circle. Now our question is, name a pair of congruent sectional angles. You're still given arc NT and arc AM to be congruent, right? So that means, according to theorem number one, we can say that the central angles NBT and MBA are congruent as well. Good job! Now we have our third number. Name a pair of congruent inscribed angles. Now, of course, there are several answers that you can get from this item, but I would like to give attention to arc NT. Notice that for arc NT, there are two inscribed angles that are intercepting the same arc. Now, what are these two? You have angle NMT and angle TAN. According to theorem number four, if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then these angles are congruent. So you've got that right. And that concludes our Teleturoan session for today. I hope you learned something from me. I'll see you again next time. Bye!